Thank you for letting us to all gather here today and we are glad that we are heading toward the end of the semester without any big issues but rather with celebratory events. Uh, please help us to envy each other less but to love more and please give us wisdom to learn better from you through this sermon today. We pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, today I want to, I have a you know, little sermon message for y'all. But before that, uh, let me introduce what I do. So this is Europe, right? And I normally, I live all around here. So I've lived here. It's a place called Estonia. I've lived here, Lithuania. This is Russia. This is Ukraine where the war is going on. I've also lived here, Turkey. Um, also, I've lived in London, and I lived in Netherlands, and I've been to pretty much everywhere else on this map. <clears throat> so, I, I basically, I live in Europe, and I go from country to country, and I help the company I work for um, sell computer software and we hire talented computer programmers and that's what we do. Kind of like Google or Amazon, these companies you might have heard of. Let's see some pictures. This is, looks a little different from Korea. This is Turkey. There's a lot of sun. I don't take a lot of pictures, so the ones I take, I take so I can send to my mother to tell her. Uh, this is the world's most famous church. You ever heard of one of the most famous church? This is Sophia Church in Istanbul in Turkey. Maybe some of you have been there. Um, it, was a, it was a Christian church and then it later became a Muslim church, an Islam church, and it still is to this day. Um, that's it in the background. Uh, in Turkey, there's a lot of cats and dogs on the street, you can go and touch them. Uh, they're very peaceful, a lot, same. Uh, this is kind of like the Namdemun market in the country I live, Turkey, Istanbul. Istanbul is one of the biggest cities in the world, almost similar size as Seoul. This is Estonia, which is a small country near Finland and Russia. It's very cold near the North Pole. There's ice and snow that comes up to here in the winter. That's my little house that I live in. This, this is Paris. You might know this, the famous Eiffel Tower here. Um, so, well, this is like an opera house where we go see people sing weird songs at night. So this is, this is also Estonia, I think. And these kind of walls are from the old, old times when Russia was conquering all these countries and they had these Russian style old factories. So that was, that was where I live normally. So, but I miss Korea. So this is my favorite Bible verse I wanna share with you today. Later, if you, if you ever go study in America or Europe, they will hand you a microphone and the professor will ask you to answer a question. And it's very embarrassing and I was very shy myself, but you know, if you practice on occasions like these, you might be more prepared than I was. So let's read together verse seven. That's verse 7 and 8. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord has judged or to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all those who long for his appearing. Verse 7 is not too hard, right? I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. So what's the race? 
you know, what, what race are we racing to finish? You know, going to, going to university, being a good son, getting good marks on the test, you no, know, you know, being good at basketball. Uh, so these are all, you know, it can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, studying as a student. So, so I, go, I go around and do some of these talks from time to time. It's always the same talk. Um, I did it here before. I used to come here every year. I haven't been here back for about three years because I was busy traveling the world. So, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the year, at the end of the semester, you have to ask yourself, have I fought the good fight? Have I finished my race? You know, have I kept the faith? Have I done what my parents want me to do, what I wanted to do? And I think most of the time, you know, the answer is no. No, I, I didn't do everything I could. I, I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time fighting with friends or thinking about what to wear or what shoes or how many likes I get on my Instagram post. And, you know, that, that kind of takes away from the race, the fight. So, you know... Think of that. Think of that when, when you come to school every day and uh, when you're in the classroom at the end of the year, at the end of the month, and to say, you know, I've done everything I could. You know, I, I didn't waste time playing video games. You know, I didn't waste time fighting with my friends. Because, you know, one day you, you won't... You'll be gone from here, you know, you'll go to the next school and your friends, you'll miss them. So be good to your friends while you have them. You know? don't, don't waste time playing video games. If you have time to play video games or be on your phone, you know, think of your parents, you know, talk with them, your friends who might not be here next year. You know? Make sure you, your friendship goes long and strong by having more fun with them. And there's many things you can do besides playing video games and being on your phone. And then one day, if you do that, go to the world. Now you can go to a good university like I did. And people ask me, how did you go to all these good universities? And I always say the same thing. I didn't play video games. I didn't play on my phone. I didn't watch YouTube. And I didn't post on Instagram. So that's my message to every young person, you know, young brother and sister, is you know, life's too short to always be on your phone. So think about that. Think of what Apostle Paul said. I have no regrets. I have fought the good fight, finished my race, and I've kept the faith. So think of that until next time you see me. You know? And then next year we'll, we'll check up on how full we've lived our lives in the past year. Thank you. Thank you very much.